Hi there, today I'm going to show you the basics of Redstone. Now, some people asked via YouTube private message uh, if they can have a if I can make a video about the basics of Redstone after I made this very complicated looking, but it isn't actually that complicated. Uh, redstone circuit I made here in my previous redstone video where you step on the pressure plate activate the button and it opens the doors well now I'm going to teach you guys the basics of redstone now this is probably something you'll do like all the time let me just put a pressure plate there you will open up the door by stepping on the pressure plate it closes behind you and you don't even need the, the uh, pressure plate over here anymore to uh, close the door, you used to have to do that, but not anymore. And then, uh, if you want to extend the pressure plate, you have to use this stuff called redstone dust, which you can get from redstone ore over here. If I make it nighttime, you can see that whenever you try to mine it, it starts to glow. And whenever you mine it, you get this stuff called redstone dust, or just redstone. Now, time day. Now, if you try to wire redstone, it only goes 15 blocks, as you can see here. If I put something on this wooden pressure plate that can be activated by another item, the current only goes to 15 blocks, and it won't reach this iron door, which also works with uh, redstone and pressure plates if you try to activate that. Alright. So, to demonstrate the 15 block thing, this is currently 15 blocks here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then an extra block on the end, that is 16. Put something on there, it only powers 15 blocks, and on the 16th block it is not glowing. As you can see, the redstone current over here is really bright, and it gradually gets darker. Until it's so dark that it's doesn't have any current in it at all and even when it is really dark I don't know why I have these weird looking iron doors like that but uh, even if it is like really dark like this it can still power doors like that which is great now I'm going to show you something called an AND gate. Now an AND gate is two torches on the top of three blocks with the redstone in the middle and a redstone torch over here on the in the middle on the side. Now basically how this works is if both of these torches are on the off position, that will cause this torch right here to turn on and then activate whatever is over here, which is in which is that door for example. So let's put some stuff on that pressure plate which turns off both of these torches, which, what did I do? Oh yeah, that slipped off, didn't it? And it turns off both of those torches, activating this torch, which opens up the door, and as you can see, whenever I grab the torch, it, uh, it closes. Simple, pretty simple. Next, what we have here is an inverter. It inverts the current. As you can see, the door is open. If we step on the pressure plate, it makes the door close. Now here, we have a double inverter, which is, it basically, just extends the current. That's what they used to do. Look at that, it's raining. There we go, alright. Now this is a double inverter, as I said. Basically what it does is it inverts the, it inverts the power twice, which uh, some people used to use this to uh, extend redstone currents before redstone repeaters, which I'll get to in a second. It basically does the same thing as regular redstone. It, it opens up the door, closes the door if you're on, if you're not on it. Now this is a redstone repeater. It causes a it causes a delay and it also makes redstone extend farther. As you can see, when I step on the pressure plate, the door opens almost instantly. And if we right click on this, we can tick it to the last setting, making the delay last a little bit longer. As you can see, we can also add a few more of these, making the delay really, really long and slow. Whatever you want to say. Alright, now, this is going to take quite a while. You can actually see the current slowly get to the uh, door. And that is redstone repeaters. Now, redstone repeaters are also used to uh, extend current. This is a 15 block 
uh, wire over here to this redstone repeater. And uh, as you can see, it extends this current. Let me just put another door there. There we go. Let's put a door right here to prove that it extends the current. Let me just put some redstone there. And it opens up the door. Magical. Now, you cannot uh, power these redstone repeaters uh, from the side. So if you step on this, it will not activate that redstone repeater. But if you do power, it has to go directly into the redstone repeater, whichever way it's facing. And it can power wire that's going sideways. So again, you cannot power a redstone repeater if it's uh, perpendicular to the wire. But it can power the wire if it's uh, perpendicular to the redstone repeater. Now if you try to uh, get the repeater on there like this, for some strange reason it does not work. You have to have this little arrow thing right there pointing the direction you want the current to go. Let me get off the pressure plate there for a second. God, what the, what? There we go. And it powers that. So basically that's some of the basics of redstone. I hope you guys learned some of this stuff from this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, be sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, that'll let me know that I did a pretty good job explaining some of this. If you guys have any questions, look at that redstone just despawned there. If you guys have any questions, then uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many as I can and uh, thank you guys all for watching again if you guys like the video hit the like button if you guys want to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys next time